All right, so we're back in the car corral, and uh, I apologize already for the light, oh, yeah. uh, the lighting, but we had to get on it early because we ran out of daylight yesterday, and there's still a lot of cars to get to. But we'll start with this 55 Corvette here. It looks uh, obviously pretty pretty original, huh? Well, notice the front license plate uh -huh. placard above it. Yeah, to drive okay. safely. Yeah. Well, the car was originally built in Flint, Michigan. Okay. But they also, in Flint, Michigan, they had uh, like a small miniature uh cars mm -hmm. that the kids could ride and learn how to drive safely okay with a track and everything else okay and i'm not sure how long that lasted but they uh, had something like that in and i've seen that in old magazines or in books where they'll show the kids on the little toy corvette miniature corvette yeah little yeah. pedal car corvettes and so that might have been one on those and people put them on there or that's is that... why yeah okay safely. that's cool yeah this is yeah. This has definitely been someone's garage or this barn. This is a transmission. It's a passenger car transmission, but I got the right New York tag on it. All that. Brand oh. new, not brand new, but we've got it. Yeah. And it runs and drives. Just on keep it. it dirty like that. It's That's cool. Yeah, seven hour produce, yeah, number 260. But as I said, I drove it for wow. two full weeks. Very cool. Weeks mm -hmm. And helping me today is our family friend Mike from Michigan, in case anyone's wondering who this new person is at the channel. So I appreciate Thank you for a little recognition. Yeah, and I appreciate you walking with me and get because you know more about a lot of this stuff than me. So I appreciate you helping Thank me you. go over all this. Yeah. So what do you you know much about the 63 Corvette like we got here? Uh, other than uh, the split window coupe yeah, or whatever. That's true, but, which this one is not. But what's really amazing is, is a lot of people like the Corvettes and everything else. Mm -hmm. The very few had air conditioning. Okay. Yeah. I guess because they wanted a more sporty. They no, want to people just didn't get it because they used it at the top off, whatever. And oh, okay. Enjoyed the, how much a cruise. Well, that makes sense. It's a pretty one here. And uh, 63 is the only one with these louvers on the hood. That's the only, oh, that's the only year they did these. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Like then they've got a view Grand. Grand National. Yeah, Grand National, that's nice. I like that. And they also made the upper level one called GNX. And these were, were this, all of them are just GNX were faster than Corvettes. GNX. GNX were faster than Corvettes. We, uh, my wife's grandmother worked for a lawyer. It was a bit of a car collector. And uh, he had bought one. I don't know if it was GNX, but he bought a Grand National. And he bought it and then just brought it home and didn't do anything. He had like 16 original miles on it. Still had the plastic all in there and everything. Yeah. Now this one's won some trophies. Good Lord. He's won about every trophy they got. And it's a four-door hardtop. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, rather than a sedan. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty. 56 Roadmaster. Even has their name on it. And oh. Kind of cars. It's amazing people have such nice cars, I guess. I don't know. I like the panel van coming by. Thunderbird, 70s, 11.9. Hey, Max. I had a college friend, he had one of these in college back in 2001. And they'd put some serious money in it. It was nice. Very nice. I wonder if it had the go package with the 390 and everything. Uh, I, I remember he said it had a 390 in there, but I don't know about if that was, if they all had that or so not. Okay, you definitely had the 390. I remember talking about that. Yeah. This is, according to the front fender, this has got a 360. 360, in it. okay, yeah. It's, I like the root beer color. It's got the original type uh, bias ply tires. Oh, yeah. Polyglass. Yeah. It's a good looking car. Same time, you got grandma's car here. There you go. Ride <laughs> style. Yeah. There's Phil's car right there. And then hopefully people won't get upset. We'll probably kind of go past the 80s vets. The 78. Yeah. Anniversary. Anniversary. Yeah. yeah. And it's got that looks like an L82 on it. Didn't they have the crossfire that year? I think they did. Eight, I thought 82 was. Oh, it could be. That could be. Yeah. Probably right. Then the 72. Mm -hmm. El Camino. Yeah. And one of the things you can tell what year it is without mm -hmm. looking at anything mm -hmm. is the 72 was one solid uh, parking lamps. 
and 71 had a chrome piece that went in here. Yeah. And the grill was a little different. That's the only way I know how to tell 71s and 2s, yeah. Uh, now, if you really want to get technical, we look at the taillights. Okay. Okay, good, because I did not know there was any difference on the taillights. Okay. On the car, I, I didn't realize there's difference oh, on the this Oh, the Alcamino's di probably different. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. on the Cheval, I can tell you, well, there's a beige one up here. I can tell you the difference okay. on that. Okay. Yeah, let's go over there. I'll, look at, I'll walk around this forward real fast. Okay. And of all things, this is a 71 Cheval over here. Well, good. Perfect. So you can tell the difference on that. <laughs> yeah, we got the, the 70. Lamp. So the parking lamp's definitely different. Yeah, then I can show yeah. you the tail light, what the differences are on them. All right, so I did not know the differences on the taillights. These are actually a 72 taillights. Okay. Now, they may have changed during model year or something like this, but the 71s had a circular type taillight. Okay. Lens. Okay. So maybe we'll see one later on. Whenever. Okay. But, uh, but they all interchange. Okay. But Yeah, I'll have to see because I did not know the taillights had any differences. I've only had one Chevelle, it was a 72, okay. and uh, we didn't keep it long. So. Well, I had a couple of them, and uh, one of them, uh, I got an AACA uh, first place trophy. Okay, yeah, so you definitely <laughs> know your stuff to get one of those with it. Pretty car. It is, especially yeah. with the tan interior. The tan interior really yeah. goes well with saddle the tan. kind of saddle tan, oh, yeah. yeah. It does. I like this. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, the one we had was, it was nice, but nothing like this. And it's a four-speed of all things. You wouldn't expect that in a convertible. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, that's cool. 350? Yeah, 350. Yeah, Malibu 350 four-speed. That's cool. Now, a lot of people weren't aware of it. Mm -hmm. They actually made a Super Sport with a 350 engine. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. I'm not sure on the year, but uh, 7172. Huh. Quite rare. That is interesting. A little Falcon Futura. And I apologize for us not giving equal time to all the cars out here. It's just there are hundreds and hundreds of cars, and we're real living on daylight, so we're going to kind of hone in on the more interesting ones. That's the Sabre. One of the first jobs I had, uh, my boss had one of these. Did he? Yep, and I used to have to take it to the car wash and wash it for him. Oh, wow. They're wild. That style was very wild. They're a very those. nice car. Yeah. Of course, everyone loves the Fastback Mustang. Oh, yeah. Yep, this is nice. And once again, I apologize for the light and the glare. It's just... We waited for the lighting to be better last night, and then it got dark on us very fast. We're out here about an hour earlier, so we're gonna have to deal with the glare, but we'll get more light to look at the cars. Here's the information. Thirty-six Ford. Now, my favorite Ford is the 37 Ford. I would love to have one. I'd really love to have a 37 Lincoln Zephyr, but since I'll never be able to get one of those, a 37 Ford, maybe I can get one of those restored someday, too. Kind of similar in the style. Problem is with the 37, so many people hot rod them. You've hardly ever seen them restored right, original. Yeah. I think they, they look nice... good enough for original. You don't have to hot rod them, but I understand why they do hot rod them. They do make good hot rods. It's pretty, though. This is a rumble seat coupe besides. Yeah, and I guess it looks like an older restoration, but still a very presentable car. 62 mm. Buick. Yeah, Invicta. Something on the dash. Oh, the clock. Yeah, the clock dash. Forty one Buick, I believe. Yep, I knew it was forty one because the forties got the split. 
Yeah. It's interesting green. It's pretty though. Mm -hmm. Wow. The chrome on that dash is really nice. Mm -hmm. and, what the, and what do they call that? Uh, engine turn. Engine turn. I always want to yeah. say what it is and I can never remember the name. Engine turn. And that's like a, a stainless steel and they turn it like that? What they do is you can, uh, I'm not sure how they did it back then, uh -huh. but one way of doing it is you put it on a drill press with a wood dowel okay. and what they call lapping compound and you can actually do that. Okay, and with the wooden dowel. Whoop, yeah, whoop, but you'll have to make sure it's all straight and everything Oh, else, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah and, uh, probably in fact they probably had a lot of them just at once. Probably do it, right, yeah. yeah, in order. I like it. And then I had an '84 Brum. I'm not sure what year this is. It might be a little older, but I mean, for mine was a sedan. Nice. Yeah, this is really nice. This is really nice. That's the same dash and everything I had. My seats weren't like that. Mine were just regular leather seats. Oh. Yeah, it's '84, same year as mine. Brom de Elegance. I don't think mine was de Elegance, but it was a Brom four door. Another 90s Corvette for 40th anniversary for 19,995. Sold it. He sold it. One owner. Now it's a two owner. This is pretty. You had your old six cylinder in there. That's the one that was driving by when we were walking out here. Yeah, it sounded smooth too. It's a nice, honest car. Yeah. It's got the the bubble protector seats. That's where you change your oil filter. Oh wow, that would be difficult to get back in there. Yeah, and it power brakes, though. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's not very easy. I mean, but compared to modern cars, it's quite yeah. easy. <laughs> and that just unbolts and it just like has a cartridge in it. Now, back when they had the Chrysler Museum up in Detroit, I believe they had a Dodge Lancer. This is a Dodge Lancer, right? Yes. Yeah, they had a Dodge Lancer. Looked just like the same color scheme and everything. 270 Hemi. That's nice. Automatic power steering, power brake. Walk around the back real fast. The tail lights are cool on there. It's kind of like a tri-color, you know, with the white, black, and pink. Look, it works good though. It's really good. Well, it's really something about these Hemi engines. Mm -hmm. They have small cubic inch and big cubic inch, and you can't tell the difference from the outside. Normally. Oh, okay. You know, you got to really know your characteristics and, between them. And what would the difference? Why would they make a small and a big cubic? They inch? started out with 240 cubic inch. Okay. All the way up to 392. Okay. And the 392 are the ones they used to use in drag race oh, okay. and rails and everything. Okay. Yeah. So it's just a smaller engine. Right. Yeah. Okay, but the outside they but look still, the same. But still, it's a Hemi head. Okay. Well, Make some good looking cars. It's a shame you don't see more of them restored because they are good looking cars fixed yeah, up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 59 Impala. 99, the best offer. I'll tell you one thing, this is it's show quality for sure. This is very, very smooth. Let's get apologize for the window glare. I'm not used to these many windows being rolled up because usually when we go it's so hot everyone leaves the windows down yeah. and just deals with the chance someone could do something so usually i'm able to get the a good shot of the interior so here it's kind of hard but this has a 348 engine in it okay with a three speed on the column oh really three yep. speed manual three on a tree oh wow yeah i like that one yeah it's a beauty i like that one is that, ever smooth paint too? that is. Whoever painted and did the bodywork on that knows what they're doing. It is. It is. It is amazing how clean that car is. I used to have a 67. Oh, yeah? yeah. You're good. Three deuces. What year is this one? 66. And you had a 67 or a pretty similar style? or Almost identical. Okay. Yeah. This was a three deuces with a four speed. Yeah.
What size engine is that on there? Oh, 442, yeah. Yeah, uh... I think the original ones were only 330 cubic feet. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say. Okay. But, oh no, wait a minute. It was the earlier one that was 330. No, okay. This is the 400. 400, okay. Yeah. And what was the 442? It's four speed, four... 400 four. cube. Four speed dual exhaust. Okay. 400 cubic inch four speed dual exhaust. Okay. Like oh, I better get the information. And a go -kart and it into 55.8. I hope so for that price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a real McCoy. Yeah, a real deal. Oops. Getting way of them filming it. <laughs> That's a good looking car. Mm -hmm. And then this is. Trying. This is a Riley Imp. Oh. Huh. 135. Oh. So I'm going to back up a little bit. That's something. To, well, yeah, I, I hear them coming. It sure looks like a. It looks Triumph. a little, yeah. Yeah, it's a little, same style. It's a little guy. It's nice. This is my style here. Mm -hmm. They sold it, so apparently someone else wanted it too. That was my first car ever restored. It was a 57 hardtop? Yep. Oh, okay. Except mine was black with a white top. Oh, okay. And it ha and this is sort of hard to come by too. Is Most of them had red interior, not silver. And mine had silver interior. Oh, really? Yes. So yours is almost identical to this other than the white top. Exactly. And it has factory, it was factory white top? Yes. Okay, that's cool. Yep. Yeah, whenever I see these 57 hard tops, black, always reminds me of the movie Dirty Dancing, because that's what Patrick Swayze's oh. character drove in that movie. Oh. It was a 57 black hard top. I can't remember, it's probably red interior. Well, it came out of Virginia, and uh, this is a few years ago. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, so I took it to an upholstery shop and they had some leftover original upholstery mm -hmm. and so they had to uh, patch up some of the rear seat whatever and they put new carpeting in it and the interior was showroom condition okay. for 90 dollars oh wow and we're wow. talking we're talking uh 1970. oh okay wow yeah and this one is, it is a sharp car it does yeah. have a, unfortunately a nasty dent right there in the roof yeah something fell on it maybe in the garage yeah i had a 283 Power pack to a uh, automatic. Oh wow! And then uh, fifty, probably five through seven. Looks like fifty-six side emblem Chevy. Yeah. Very original. Rest restoration on it. Fifty-five. It's got the 55 hood emblem, but I swear those are 56 side emblems. It's nice. 53 Bel Air, 27.5 Cash Talks. I bet it does. Trades considered. Do you know, is this a factory color? I've never seen one quite that color. It's almost a goldeny yeah, yellow. I, I mean, it looks great on it. I've just never seen anything quite like that. <coughs> yeah, no, like I said, I want a 36 or 7 Lincoln Zephyr. It's a little newer, but this is still very good. Oh, you got a little Corona back there. You buy this car, you can get a case of Corona. <laughs> yeah. 38.5. 29,500 miles. Interior is 100% original. Wow. Yeah, these look at Zephyrs. I, all the years I love, but uh, the 36 and 7, oh man. That style on the nose is really unique. It is. 
<laughs> He's really good. And I think I think all of them came with V12s. I know most of them did, if they didn't all. But I'm pretty sure they all came with V12s. Very. But I've heard there was, a, I, mean, I don't know if it's true, but I heard the V12s had an issue where they would come in the crack. So mm -hmm. a lot of people do put flathead Fords or different things in there only because the V12s have a bid, bad problem with the block cracking. Mm -hmm. and I, don't think, I think it's something to do with just the casting, they'll over torque mm -hmm. and crack or something. But that's just what I've heard reading, of, researching them online. I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, I'm not very familiar, but I did research them for a while because I really wanted to get one for a while there. Now I realize I'm broke. I can't get one. <laughs> and they very rarely come up for sale anyways in any condition. Let's go look at a little Mustang. Now you see a lot of these vendors have a lot of cars out here. I think this guy's got a few of them out here. Well, what gets me is uh, these cars, for some reason, mm -hmm. aren't bringing a high dollar. Uh, I'm not sure why. Yeah, 19.5 and it's convertible. Yes. It's in yeah. decent shape. Right. With a V8 and everything. <clears throat> power steering, power brakes, power top. Hmm. Yeah, it's unusual. I guess style, you know, has a lot to do with the value. People want them with a certain style. But that, yeah, that seems like a, I mean, a nice muscle car to get for less than 20. Yeah. Looks Check out like suicide doors. Oh, uh, yeah, that's cool. Re like the suicides up front and regular in the back. Mm -hmm. Unlike the American cars, usually got the suicides in the back. And then a the guy earlier, we were asking about his car. He says, yeah, I got to hide these at night because if you're not sitting here, people will steal them, unfortunately. Well, the other thing, too, is it's a left-hand drive car. So a lot of them were right-hand drive. That old. Yeah. Yeah. 34 grand on it. Keep going around the wrong way, keep going to the side with the glare. I need to come over here to get the interior. It's got that little. Seen good, good bit of foreign cars out here yeah. this week, yeah. And here's one of the hot ones coming up. It's the popular TR4. one? TR4, yeah. Oh, the TR4, yeah. Yeah. So they're really appreciating the value. Wow. Well, can go around the other side, get a better view of the interior, hopefully. Hmm. Does he have the info on it? Yep. Yes. One five. The stripe and the screens over the headlights. Nice little touch. Yeah, it is. Big four galaxy here. And it's a seven liter. That's a four twenty seven motor. So it's got the big block. Four twenty eight. It says up there seven liter. I guess it's on where you round up or down on the decimal, huh? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> That's what seven liter stands for, is the cubic inch. Yeah. Baby blue too. Looks more like a refreshed car than a restored. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which means it's probably a good solid car originally. Another Buick. And my theory is when people have nicely done four-door sedans it means the car was probably pretty nice oh yeah four speed again i'll go around the other side actually somebody put a five speed in it oh that's something huh yeah i always figured if they may put this much money and effort in the new paint into or whatever and made uh made it as nice as it did before it must have been a pretty solid car to begin with mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good when there's big cool. tires on it. <laughs> yeah, some, yeah, definitely some wide tires. In the poverty caps. Is this a Cadillac or? Yeah. V8 Cadillac. Oh, John. 52.9.
Another Avanti. Seen a few of these this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Forty-seven this is 63. on this one. They're interesting. I give them that. I don't think I have any interest in ever owning one, but they're interesting. Here we go. Yeah, this is more along the lines of what I'm used to seeing. Yeah, that is, man, that is a smooth body and paint job on this one. 36.8. Sierra Classic Long Bed. Wow. I've seen a lot of square bodies. I don't know if I've seen one quite as smooth as this white one. It's got this pretty dark tinted windows. Bed's pretty clean. A little few dents in there. This black one over here is pretty clean, but this white one might just have a little bit more smoothness on the body. Now, of course, if you ask me which one I'd take home, if I ever offered either one for free, it'd be the black one just because mm -hmm. I like to look better. But yeah, they're sharp. Different exhaust from one to the other. Oh, too. yeah. Of course, it could be whoever you took it to just did it differently. Mm -hmm. Having owned white vehicles and black vehicles, I take the white one every day. Really? Why is that? You get in the white one in the middle of the summer and... Oh, it's not as hot? <laughs> yeah. It's much more comfortable vehicle than the green. Yeah. Now, the other one's got the stock rally wheels, uh -huh. where this has white wheels. Oh, yeah, and I actually like the, the base rims with the hubcaps myself. Just a preference thing. Well, those oh, hubs are a little different than stock, looks like. These things are getting pricey. Yeah, yeah they are. They did a good job on, this, on both of them. Spots. Yeah, they say it's frame off restoration. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah, I believe it. They're clean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you get the rallies, well, which are nice. Window frame off restoration. Yeah. No, you're talking GMC as compared Chevy. to Chevy. But I still like this, this, the wide rims, which those wide rims are hard to get. I like the wide rim, or yeah. really the rim look, just base rim look in general over the rallies. I mean, yeah. they both look great, but. Yeah. Yeah. This one's got warm, worn hubs. Yeah. yeah. They've been GMC changed. tended to be slightly heavier duty. Yes, exactly. Yes. But. Yeah. But this one's a half ton, and this one's three quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Even with my six. Very, these are very nice trucks. Although a half ton to three quarters ton won't matter because neither of them are ever going to be a work truck again. Oh no. No, or off roaders probably. Yeah. The drawback of these is gas mileage. Yeah. But they probably won't get driven much. So. Yeah. <laughs> I got a 92 F350 crew cab. I know about gas mileage. <laughs> oh yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Those are lookers. Yeah. It's nice talking to you. 51 Crestliner. Button bolt restoration, one of 8,700 produced. Check out the line with three speed. Wow. I, yeah, I don't guess I've seen a, a Ford like this with the vinyl roof. Is that factory like that? Yeah. I just, I mean, I see a lot of the 5051 Fords. Right, but I don't really pay a lot of attention to them, but. The chrome is different. I have the seen them with the chrome. I just never paid attention to them. I've ever seen one with the vinyl roof, so that's cool. You probably don't see a lot of them with the vinyl roof factory because no. uh, you know you know how vinyl roofs rust. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. It's pretty. I like that maroon and kind of a champagne color. It's interesting. Yeah. Sold it. He huh. sold it. And the rims are painted the same color as the body. The they champagne sure are. color. Yeah, it's a nice detail. Wow. Some really pretty cars out here today. 37 Dodge. These are these are really good looking trucks. These late 30s Dodges. I'll tell you one thing. It's starting to feel comfortable out here again. It was a scorcher today. We were looking at uh, this guy's stuff. What you see under there? Oil. He's got a little oil. Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, we're looking at this guy's stuff today. He had three thermometers in the shade. They weren't in the sun. All three of them said 88 degrees. Oh, okay. And this is a Plymouth pickup. It's a Plymouth? I thought it was a Dodge. 
It says put it on hubcap, so I'm assuming that's it. <laughs> it wouldn't. No. It's I got... mean, I'm not sure if there's. Well, I would think it's Dodge because of the hood. That's what I thought. It says, yeah. Oh, it says 37 Dodge. You just put a Plymouth hubcap yeah, on there. Yeah, right. He probably didn't have enough hubcaps and just threw one he of the close enough. on there. Yeah, yeah, because those don't say anything either. No, he probably didn't. Yeah, he probably just didn't have the hubcaps for it. Pretty little Model A, 16.5. Now, if you want Model A's or Model A parts, this place to be because there's about everywhere you turn, there's Model A's. Yeah. I feel bad. I really didn't even film that many of them just because there's so many. The whole video would be Model A's. And it seemed like couldn't go two or three booths without seeing someone had just a stack of Model A parts. I like the little sticker there and that's a little why, touch. So we'll have to make a call tomorrow. There's our little mail truck here, Grumman. Yeah, and all the Grumman's used to be aluminum body. Mm. I do like this style Cadillac, the early mm, 60s. That's classic. Yeah, it's really nice. And when they're done up, Real smooth and clean, man. Was it about 62? Uh, I was thinking 60, 61. It says 61 here, so I'm not sure how long they kept the style. Well, back then, I'm pretty sure they changed every year. Okay. But well, it's saying this is a 61. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think you waddle up here I mean, that's quite a stylish body style. Yeah. It is. Those fins are something else, too. I know they got the peak size in 59, but they were still pr plenty prominent in these years. You wouldn't want to run into that yeah, really? bike or something. That's stab you. <laughs> there was a little Nash here. Yeah. A little panel van. 59 Rambler American delivery. One of three made. Hmm. Interesting. I was going to say, I don't remember ever seeing one of these before, and it's probably, you can look underneath it. Is that a Rambler? One of three made, supposedly. Is it one of three made? That's what it says on the description, so yeah. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. Uh, the glare's not going to work with me. It's interesting. Now, I've seen a few of these in the junkyards, I believe, in the last few months we've been going to. At least I remember the tail lights and fins. Yeah, these that you don't see very often. Mm -mm. I do, I don't think convertible, but I do believe we saw a few of these in the junkyards this summer that we were going to. Of course, some junkyards got sick. Four, CTC five, six thousand cars. Yeah. yeah, they probably got a little bit of everything in there. And this is—I don't know—it's either this style or the '58 to '62 style. I'm torn. My favorite stock Corvette. I love these '50s Corvettes. Not, you know, just a cruise. Mm -hmm. I know they're not super fast. They sold this one. What were they asking? Uh, does not say on there. Obviously, the right price. Mm -hmm. Interior looks pretty much original. Look at the big steering wheel. Yeah, no, that's crazy. <laughs> and it's a three-speed manual. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'd love to get one. He's just for cruising. Mm -hmm. You know, I know they're not super fast or anything. I just love this style. I just don't know if I like the more subdued 56, 57 style like we got here or the little bit more outlandish 58 to 62 style with the more chrome and all that. Panel van here. Frame off restoration. I believe it is pretty spotless yes it is it's got mirrors under it too give it a look yeah it's like underneath about as clean as the top side wow let me come around the other side here and that's a lot of work get these big panels smooth be straight yeah Wow. Yeah, 37.5. Here's a Suburban with a 454 in it. I was gonna say, my dad had a 96 Suburban, um, but it was a diesel. When it ran, it was a tough truck. 
Problem was that the injector pump would go out on it all the time. Yeah, three quarter ton. He probably still have it if it was a big block, but the injector pump on that diesel just went out all the time on it. It's a clean work truck for someone. Yeah. It's good. Now this is another old one. There. Yeah, this is cool. I remember when these used to go for nothing, and it wasn't even that long ago, you know, 15, yeah. 20 years ago. This would probably have been this is 32 9 right now. And back in 05, 08, somebody else would have been uh, well, Lou and I, three, three, four grand tops. <laughs> Lou and I went to uh, California back mm -hmm. then, and we almost bought one. Oh, yeah? I don't know why we did. I don't know why, but it had a 454 <laughs> and everything else, yeah. and it couldn't meet emissions, and it was available to, to buy. Really oh, really? Reasonable. Yeah. Wow. Now, I know in Montana, to keep an eye on Marketplace, you can get a lot of real clean suburbans, for, mostly four-wheel drive ones. You can get them in the th three, four, five thousand dollar range. Not quite as clean as this one, but not too far off. That the, I think or? that's the pattern vinyl upholstery. That's definitely an original interior. I don't know a lot about a lot of these cars, but the Chevy truck stuff, I'm pretty damn knowledgeable on. And that is definitely 70s GM. But you notice that's vinyl? Yeah, it's a Scottsdale, so it's probably like the mid-level trim. You'd mm -hmm. have had the the Silverado's uh, upper level. Yeah, and you'd have gotten the more cloth in there. And Scottsdale back then had the uh, rubber floor mats. Yeah. yeah, and it's got the the white rims, which I think look really sharp. Mm -hmm. Even though they're the more cheap wheels, I think they look really sharp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This looks like our old Corvette. We had a seven. 74 here. okay yeah we had a 74 looked a little like this i mean they're white that's one of my favorites because it's got the euro front bumper mm -hmm. and the old style rear end so you like the euro front bumper yes okay because see i'd always if i got a corvette i'd always want a 72 roller because i don't want the the euro yeah i don't like the euro as okay. much i like the the chrome bumpers on there looking and plus the older ones have the more aggressive grills on the, mm -hmm. you know the gills i guess oh right yes yeah. right yeah which i like but yeah, 33.9. Aftermarket trim rings. Oh, are they? Yeah, you know how you can tell? Nope. These trim rings are smooth all the way around. Okay. The factory ones have a, a little indentation all the way around. Oh, okay. A feature line. Okay, good to know. I, di I definitely didn't know that. Another Mercury. This one's not covered up. 16.9. This is all original. Rebuilt motor, though. No, this one has the suicide rear doors. Yeah, which I'm more common with, you know. Mm -hmm. My 47 Dodge have the suicide rear. It's nice. Here's one I used to have. You had one of these? Yeah. 76 Lincoln. 460 Mark engine. Mark 4. Yeah, 10 miles to a gallon, no matter how <laughs> you drove it. I bet. I bet. Wow. Pretty. And being in Michigan, it rusted pretty bad. I believe that. Another 70s Corvette. Mm -hmm. No info on it. You got Biff's car here from Back to the Future. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> no manure, hopefully. <laughs> 34.9. This one's not quite black. It's more like a dark, dark blue or something. But, uh, yeah, these, unfortunately, that movie ruined me on these cars. It's the first thing I think of when I see one <laughs> is Back to the Future. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. They're good looking little cars. Yes, it is. And then, uh, what the heck? This uh, Rolls Royce. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say it's something luxurious. It's like I a probably... think it's, it, they call this one the long wheelbase because of okay. the stretch. I believe that. And this has the, what they call the picnic tables. They flip down. Okay. This one looks like it's seen better days, but it's still overall pretty good shape. Just needs some TLC. And I don't know if this has it or not. I can't tell, whatever. But some of them, they have the fold-out seats, too, like jump seats. Oh, yeah. I've seen some of those. Oh, it's got a divider window. Yep, sure does. It's up, too. So I guess a light or something in there. This is a... Uh... I guess one of these would be probably pretty costly to get restored, like to top sh top shape. Oh yeah. Like the little... What year did it say this was? Oh, uh, let's see. It says '63 Phantom Five. Okay. Thirty grand. 
Cool. The one they get is a 64 rolls. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, no, why Rob Magazine did an article on them. Okay. And uh, in a quarter mile, they do 14 seconds. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, I guess they contacted <laughs> Rolls Royce to find out what size engine it was or what horsepower. And the answer was it was sufficient. <laughs> wow. I think probably after Model A's, Packard's one thing we've seen the mm -hmm. most of this week. And I don't know, every time I see one, I love it. This is probably 4041, I think, because I know the early 40s had the narrower grills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the thing says on here. If it has any information, I don't, I don't know, it might not have any information. It's got a gas can in the back. Mm. Just like a random gas. I guess in case maybe they run out, maybe the gauge doesn't work. That'd be me. My yeah. gauge doesn't work. I'm going to throw a two, three gallon can in the back just yeah. to be safe. That's your reserve. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't have any information on it. It's also got the uh, divider window. It's obviously, I guess, a limo because the seats are set way back. It's got a little jumper here and then the divider, which would explain, when I first looked in there, it's like the dash and everything's a lot more plain than I would have thought, but it makes sense because what I care if the... Yeah, and it has is. the jump seats. So it could yeah, have been a funeral car. Could have been, yeah. Being a Packard. Yeah, and that would explain why it's a little bit more subdued on the inside. That's all with the mouse nest. Yeah, some of the insulation. <laughs> Still a pretty car. Mm -hmm. there are some Look at this Jag. And there are some is it a Jag? No, it is. Oh, I thought it was because of the hood on it. It says Daimler. Yeah. 87 Daimler. 82, 9. 21,000 original kilometers. What would it be about 16, 18,000 miles? It's an well, interesting I'm not sure when they did it, but did, weren't there a Daimler Benz? Yeah, well, I know when uh, Chrysler emerged, yeah. It says Duchess. Quite a unique style. Yeah, I'm going to see what the information says on it. Very dark tinted windows. Let's see what they got here. I'm sorry, it's the 80s. I would have thought it was older when I first yeah, saw it. Yeah, so would I, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't say much. I guess you have to know what you're looking at. To... I guess they figure if you're going to buy it, you, you know what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. I do not know what you're looking at. High end muscle right there. Till you get to the side and he realizes a family sedan. Yeah. <laughs> Still, I, I I would definitely drive one of these. Yeah. I remember though, at Pate they would have these, and they would usually be in the six eight grand range. Maybe not quite this sharp, but mm -hmm. in good shape. But I think this one will go around. I believe it's twenty one. Yeah. Yeah, 68. I mean, it's a good-looking car. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, the two doors are going to be a heck of a lot more than 20 grand. Yeah, 21 and change. Well, now 18. Oh, now 18.8. Yep. So he's wanting to move it. He ain't out here just showing it off. Now, if I could save 20, 25 grand and drive with that, 307 automatic. Yeah. Yep. I should have grabbed one in there about 6, 8 grand, but... Them days are past, I guess. Yes. <laughs> I know we saw these in the junkyard this summer. Because mm. I remember checking the out the headlights. The headlights are just so wild on these, yeah. This one doesn't... Oh, I was going to say, it didn't have any information, but it's laying on the dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, we saw some very high-end cars in the junkyards that I'm hoping someone will eventually restore someday, but they... they Need a lot of help, but they were would be worth the effort. Well, I don't know about different states, but in Michigan, mm -hmm. they have to turn in the titles into the state, I believe. And so you you're right. Go ahead and buy one. A modern junker does now. These classic car junkyards, I'm not sure if it's the same way or not. Off that, I got a friend who owns a junkyard. Off the ask Some of the real old junkyards, mm -hmm. they kept the titles. Yeah, uh, I got a friend that has a classic car junkyard. It's a little one. I'll ask him because he sells. He'll always say, "Oh, I'm parting this out," because I was getting parts off of one of his trucks. And then he's like, oh, you can't get any parts. I went back the next weekend to get more parts. He goes, yeah, you can't get any more. I'm selling it to a guy and uh, and all that. So I think he doesn't turn them in, at least not right away. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Or the other thing, too, is somebody buys it for the body, then, yeah. you know, and they've got a junker that they just switch everything over. Yeah, you know? that's true. So, anyhow. But, you know much about Studebaker trucks? No. <laughs> no comment on this one? <laughs> Pretty clean. It is a clean one. Price seems reasonable to me. I don't know the market on these, but 
I mean, the paint's nice too. Yeah, you? I mean, it's hard you to know? get any type of old, well, any type of old or new truck, any truck for a reasonable price. So, yeah, so, yeah somebody did a nice job on it. It's pretty. Another, I've always liked these. Yeah, another two here. Is this, this a good Golden Hawk? GT Hawk. Yeah. Yep. Look at the roof. I don't know if I remember seeing that. Yeah, that is interesting. This is interesting. I always thought the trunks were kind of wild with that big hump in the back. That's more along the style of like. I like this stuff. I'd never, I don't like it enough that I'd ever want to buy it unless i just had tons of money but yes this is a every time i see one of these yeah. going down the road especially when they're done up nice and they got the side pipes man they are sharp now it's here these are the original trim rings okay see yeah this little i do yeah i see the little dip right the other one Those did not the have that ones, yeah that is okay yeah that's good i didn't know that so that's interesting and did you know the derby they call them derby caps in the center okay uh, they make aftermarket even in plastic Really? Yeah. And I did not know they made aftermarket plastic ones. I yeah. did know they made aftermarket ones, but not plastic. Yeah. Yeah, I like the chopped off back end, but the chrome bumpers just really set off. And like I said, this style with the side pipes, that the oh, yeah. black or something rumbling, man, that's that's cool. 57 40. Love it. Got the Continental kit on the back. Mm -hmm. Thirty-six five. I don't know how far you want to go before you start the other direction before it gets dark. <laughs> That's cat. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, I get the information over here. Thirty-seven. This one says three thirty-one Hemi. Oh. Yeah, they were pretty popular. I like that little vent window back there. That is there. neat. That, before the days of air conditioning, I'm sure it was quite comfortable to have without the wind blowing in your face. Especially if it was raining and you get fresh air without the wind coming in and on you. Nice wire wheels. Yeah, that's that's really cool. <laughs> 3,000 miles since <laughs> rebuild. There's uh, some information. Oh, uh, yeah. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Be good for the white. The salmony pink. 1920 Dodge. 12 grand. Looks like an older restoration, huh? Yeah, I just wonder what this is for. What's that? Uh, could, oh, I think it might be a grease. Is it, well, maybe not. I don't know. It's a good question. Looks like it's got manual brakes. Mm -hmm. Or not manual, mechanical brakes. I guess at that age. That'd be work. manual. <laughs> oh, manual, mechanical, yeah. both. Yeah. C5, kind of line 27. Good looking little truck. A Herald. Triumph. Triumph Herald. One thing nice about these is the front end flips up and you can get to everything real easy. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That would make it a lot easier to work on. It's unique. Mm -hmm. Probably have the only one in your neighborhood if you get it. There you go. Another Thelma and Louise style. And a bird. 42. He's asking 42,000? That's what he's asking for this one. Oh boy. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but um, it's a, probably an ambitious price, maybe. Well, he's got Foose wheels. No, it's not Foose. Fisky wheels. Maybe that adds value. <laughs> yeah, boat tail. Yeah, these are. These were something back in the day, yes. I bet. Low mileage, that 20,000 doesn't sound too bad. No. It 
Someone's mm. torturing a poor kid down there. I feel bad. It's a little baby thing crying. Mm. This is a conversion, isn't it? There's no way that's factory. I don't know what it is. I've never seen one. It's a Pinchero. Only one of eight manufactured manufactured by Ford. Forty-four thousand original miles. Wow. Nineteen five. Huh. <laughs> it's interesting. Yes. The things you see at Hershey, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Where else would you see? <laughs> yeah. I like these 70s boats like this. Do you? Mm -hmm. I love them. If I was rich, I'd buy up all the clean original ones, just have them. I'd just drive them as my days. Because, you know, they drive like a Monte Carlo. Very comfortable oh, oh, to drive. Yeah, right. I mean, I, I think they're on the a, same chassis. Yeah, the fuel economy sucks. Yeah. But other than that, he's got it down to 15,250. It's got a unique uh, vinyl roof design pattern. Yeah, it is a little different. Looks good, though. Mm -hmm. It's a clean car. Pretty nice. Where he's 50, 51. This might be a little newer at the grill. Yeah, 51. Yeah. Because I think it's 49 is the one with a little bit, that's more desirable grill everyone wants. 198. Hershey that special. That's reasonable. Yeah, for a car for that kind of money to I drive. mean, you're not going to rebuild it for that much. No, but look at the paint. Oh, you know, this has a very. Clean it's body, nice. the paint job is nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a few blemishes, but all of yeah, them have that. Clean. All but the most freshly restored have that. Yeah. It's a pretty car. Yeah, less than 20 grand, too. Wow. Well, this is clean. clean. Yeah, this quarter. is clean. Four door hard top. You know where the number came from? Two and a quarter? No. 225 inches long. Really? Is that how long this yeah. is? Oh, my goodness. Now they rode like a dream. You don't feel anything on the road. I believe that. Yeah, that's a good looking car. Did you get a price on that? Uh, let's see. I don't think I got the info. 22,000 documented original miles, 24,900. Okay. The problem with these two is these are die cast taillights, whatever. Okay. They really pitted bad, whatever. Oh, but did these they? are nice. It's like someone maybe, re well, that one's got some pitting, so it must be original. These yeah. on this side must have been re because they're very nice. smooth and shiny. That one's definitely original. Yeah. That is a clean car. I wonder if it's an actual California car, but just put a California tag on it. It is a black paint. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the black. Plate. Well, it's a Los Angeles area code, I believe, 74, because. We're in Houston, Houston 713. I always remembered that oh. LA was 714, which was just one digit off from us. So it probably is a Cali car. 10,900 documented original miles. Mm. Oh man, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I guess it doesn't matter where it's from. If it's got that many yeah. miles, it's gonna probably be clean less than left out back. But yeah, and it's uh, current registration. So oh. it probably may tell me. Yep. I doubt they drove in California since such low miles, but yeah, it probably is. Came up from California. Nice. I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd trust the tires. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I would assume they got rid of the original tires, but you never know. Some people don't want to change anything off they don't have Six to. Door limo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Statesman Super. Seventeen seven best offer. I used to know somebody had one of these and I always thought it was really neat because he flared the wheel wells out so you could put bigger tires on it. Oh yeah. And with side exhaust. Yeah. yeah I mean, that was really cool as that's, far as I was concerned. Yeah. And this one does have side exhaust. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that, that side exhaust really, it doesn't really matter what style of Corvette, it always sets it off, you know. If it's a 60s or 70s style. Now he put the off. center caps on here and rally wheels. The center caps were 67 and later. This is a 65. So 67 later caps? Yeah. Okay. Man. I'm not sure if they even had the wheels in 65. Mmm. That's like, I mean, they're a nice touch. It's like 67, 72 Chevy trucks. Everyone puts the 80s rally rims in. People yeah. think they're original. They're not, but so many people do it and think that they're original, you know, but they're really not. So it could be the same way that maybe it's common upgrade, even though it's not quite original that year. Well, these are these are original trim rings. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they get a little in-depth. Yeah. So, that's nice. 
It's an interesting color on this mercury. Mm -hmm. Kind of a tropical looking color. I can see this cruising down Miami Beach or something, you know, with this color and everything in the convertible. 34.9. Buckets and console. Why didn't your kind of pops against that turquoise color? Mm -hmm. It's not a average car. You don't see a lot of Marlins. No price. Okay. Seats are kind of cool looking. Probably original paint. I would think so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's pretty much original according to the yeah. bumper. Yeah. Yep. Chrome's original, paint's original, interior's definitely original. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Survivor. Needs a new emblem on the back. Yeah. Another Mustang, 29.5. It's got the GT lights and everything, so I don't know. It says GT. GT. It does say GT, so. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Now I have a, I think I got it when I was a kid. It was a die cast model, like 124th scale, that size is. And it was a 57 Chevy, uh, this color. I don't know if that's the original color. Really? Yeah. The yeah. model, I got the same color. Is but it? it might not be original. But it looks good in it. it sure does. 89 grand. It's got a 357 R4. It's a little bit of an upgrade yeah. on all that. It's got the deluxe hubcaps. Oh, yeah. Interiors, very pretty. These were always problem, problem trials because they the flip pop up and, up down. and down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I believe. But that. they reproduce them. That's a pretty car. I love the color. Figure or not, that is a really, really pretty color on there. And the interior, they got the interior to match too. Yeah, so. it is pretty color. Yeah. Oh, and I always like this style Grand Prix. It, yeah. It looks very formal, you know. Uh huh. It does. Gentlemen's. Oh, I must have gone. Yeah. It's the early one. Was it 64? Yeah, yeah. 63. 63. They're asking 36,000 for it. Wow. And it has a tachometer in the console. Oh, man. And those are becoming quite collectible if you can find them. Yeah, that's cool. There's a Model T. Up for Romeo. Cool. It's a sporty looking little car. Yes. No, yeah. they're snappy too. I bet. I bet. Is that a more modern too, or are they kind of just modern looking like that in there? It's just modern looking. Okay. So that's what it would have had. Yes. 42.5. Yeah, when I was looking at, what year is this one? 74? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I was looking at them about then, they're only like uh, 10 grand. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. She got one. <laughs> yeah. 69. Well, that's uh, different in style, that's for yeah, sure. I'm going to tell you one thing, that maroon with that tan interior sure looks good. Mm -hmm. It does. around me and get a little better look on the other side. It's hard to see the color. Is that a, like a butterscotch? The tan interior? The, no, the... I the always thought butterscotch more of a tan or golden color. The outside looks maroon to me. I don't know what type of maroon, okay, but it definitely yeah. looks maroon. Yeah, these are, these are sharp looking little cars. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen Alfa Romeos before. never really gave yeah. them much look. But Usually yeah, they sharp. have... The design here in the in the grill. That's how you can usually yeah, and a little triangle and right, everything. Yeah. yeah, even the modern ones have that. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's similar to like your BMWs yeah. do the same so thing. The front, oh yeah, the, the front and what was he driving? So they have a here. Look at the trailer for this thing. Tension. Wow. Yeah. Is that for Adam Lee? 
I think it's when you unhook the trailer and it you drops it down and yeah. keeps the trailer, you know. Yeah. Look at the chain drive on it. I built the front spring. It's like a early 18 wheeler almost. I mean, the way it's built looks. <laughs> oh, here we go. Got a little Trill 70. I got one of those. I got to get it running one of these days. It's a 70 H. Another square body truck. Short box. Yeah, 36.5. Pretty clean. I don't know if it's quite as smooth as those other two, but it's definitely a clean truck. He's got a lot of stuff for sale. I bought, almost bought one of these when I was in college. Uh, it was a short bed, restored, just show quality. Every bit as clean as those two long beds we looked at over there. Um, it was before Square Body started really appreciating value. And I mean, I looked under it, it, it was show quality. You could have eaten off the bottom of it and everything. It was flawless, five grand. They used to have a hood emblem here too. Yeah, I was gonna say, you see some of them with them and most of them without. But I remember my dad had a Suburban, 80 Suburban that had the hood emblem, mm -hmm. but you hardly ever see them with them on. I don't know if people just don't put them back on there anymore or what? Right, when they replace the hood yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this one we saw earlier. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's like, this looks familiar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You get a good price for a New Yorker. 24,000 24, original miles. This is a good bit of uh, original mile cars out here. Mm -hmm. Look how big this thing is. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a boat. It's a, at least a copy of the original. It'll ride comfortably. Oh yeah. It's got center armrest in both seats. Does it? it? Looks like original window sticker. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Yeah, let's get the build sheet. Yeah, it's got all the paperwork. It is nice. Mm -hmm. This is a 49, yeah, 49 Cadillac. I like the 49 Tennessee plate. It matches the car. Black. Nice paint this job. Is, on this is, yeah, another sharp paint job on this one. 42.5, wow. This is the beauty here. This is sharp. Very nice. For a 49, it's got day, night mirror. Sweet. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Fleetwood. Yeah, that is. I mean, we've seen some sharp cars. That's definitely up there as yeah. far as quality. Yes. Yeah. Very uh, high quality. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got another little. Mustang here. I think everyone knows what a Mustang looks like, so I'll just give you the info. It's a clean one. Model A, 3031. Mm -hmm. You know how to tell the difference between a 30 and 31? Well, assume my dad's correct. Uh, the 3031s are flush, and the 2829s bump out. Another giveaway is okay. the splash apron. Okay. Okay. Uh, 30 has a seam, the two piece, and 31 had one piece like this. Oh, okay. So that's how you can tell 30 from 31 if yes. it's done to original specs. Yes. Okay. That's my understanding. Okay. Might have to verify that, but I'm almost positive. Well, the good news is the internet will let us know if we're wrong. There we go. Yes, they, it's a passion of some of them. Well, Which is fine. I don't mind being corrected. Oh, yeah, right. I don't mind yeah, that at all. Now that, we can double check with Lou on that. Yeah, but he would know. Yeah. yeah. A little rumble seat. Because uh, Lou being a... I love the color on this. The brown interior, the blue, and the black. It's very nice. Yeah, it's pretty. Another Lincoln. 
Yeah, I let mine go for 7,500. <laughs> oh, yeah. When it was, uh, uh, what, two years old. They're going for a little bit more than that yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but back then, uh, if you ever look at the economy and the wages, whatever, it was $10,000 new. Uh-huh. That was a year's wages of a toolmaker. Oh, okay. Wow. So, wow. just think of your your yearly wage. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Whole year. Yeah. Just to buy that car. Yeah, exactly. Wow. They better appreciate value after that. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Lincoln Continental. That's dark blue. And Malibu. Yep. First year for the Super Sport, I believe, 64. And they made a rear rear model with the 396 in them. Uh, 64, 327 four speed, 59. Now it's one thing that uh, these were pretty quick. Some of them it depends on what they ordered. Okay. You get up to three, 350 horsepower in the 327. Oh really? In that car. And the 327, you get 350 horsepower. That's impressive. Yeah. And if it had a four speed like this one, you'd oh. get down the road. Oh yeah, it yeah. would scoot. <laughs> the Pontiac convertible. Looks fairly original too. Uh, no, my that could be an older restoration too. Yeah. No, and don't these light up on these? I couldn't tell you. I swear I've seen them where they light up. Oh. But I might just be imagining it. Forty nine, Silver Street. It says it's all original. Mm -hmm. Seven thousand document miles. Get the info over here too. Twenty nine five. It says all original, so I'm going to assume the paint and everything is original on it. We are 60 Chevy? Yes. Short sedan. Original bill of sale, owner's manual. It's got a 355 in it. Four speed. Borgeson power steering, power disc brakes, and it is definitely lowered. And it's got a different rear end back there. It's got quite an offset in the rim. Yeah, it does look like it's sticking out a little bit. Yeah, it's a, probably a little resto mod, you know? Yeah, pretty nice. I filmed these cars back here the other day, and uh, Oh, Targa, that's what I had. Is that what it is, Targa? Yeah. Okay, okay. We filmed it, but I don't think we asked the guy what it was, and we didn't know. <laughs> we okay. should know it was a Ferrari, little Volvo. Yeah, but it's got some nice aftermarket wheels on it. Yeah, looks like American Racing's. When I was in college, someone, I didn't know who it was, but one of the students had one of these little Volvos. It was uh, always in the parking lot of the library and stuff. I always thought it'd be nice to put a small block Chevy in it and everything. Oh yeah, I better really fly with it too. Mercedes and then Beamer next to each other. The Germans are sticking together. Yeah. 35,000 original miles. Sold. It did sell for 40, somewhere around 42.5. Looks really clean. It definitely looks clean. Somebody took care of it. Yes. That was a well kept car. This uh, looks like another well kept car. Yeah. This one says Arizona on it, so. Those are a little bit of a high in the 2002 model. Are they? Yes. They okay. did very well in racing. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. I can see that. They kind of get that little. Yeah, they kind of get that stumpy little body that race car drivers like. 35, this one's still on the market. People always tell me I scan these too fast. It's like, you have to pause on the computer, don't you? <laughs> now you're fine. You know. It's an interesting color on there. Oh, this is the Typhoon. The Cyclone was the pickup truck, and the Typhoon was the Blazer. Okay, so but it was the high yeah, so with the big horsepower engine, option. Yeah, yeah four-wheel yeah. drive. Yeah, Typhoon, yeah. And these are still one of the fastest production trucks you can get in stock form. Isn't that something? That is something, and they came out, you know, 30 years ago. I'm not even going to try to get the interior because it's tinted super yeah. dark, but... That's pretty nice. Yeah, it is. 
I'm sure these are starting to go up in value, starting to become quite collectible, I would yeah, think. Yeah, I mean, where would you find one? Yeah, no, you're not going to find a lot of them. And especially if they're in good shape, I'm sure they, mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of them are abused. Uh, yeah. yeah. I had a chance years ago to buy one from a guy had it in the garage, sitting in his garage with a bad transmission. Oh. And he finally did sell it to somebody, but he wanted 10 grand for it mm. with a bad transmission. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'd love to show the Hutmobile, but it's kind of covered up. It's like another honest car here, 68 LTD Brome. With a 390. And it's only 14.9, I mean, yeah, it's not a bad entry level. Classic car. See, if I lived in part of the country that wasn't so harsh on old cars with the rain and the heat, mm -hmm. I would love to get something like this because I don't drive that far to work. Mm -hmm. And you know, nice, decent original and just kind of drive it um, versus a modern car, but. I don't want to buy one and ruin it because where I work, it would just get thrashed just what's, because of the elements. What's really unique about this is the LTD top of the line mm -hmm. still has manual mirrors, I mean, the windows in it. Oh, does it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, you'd think it'd be powered by then. Yeah. Sun car. No, this is, Ooh, yeah. yeah, this is my style right here. Yeah, mine too. I'll never own one, but I would, if I ever win the lottery, I guess I would. Yeah. yeah from looks like I think it's a 1970. So okay. A scoop on the side. Okay. Let's we'll see, see if I'm right. Yeah. We'll see. I'm wrong half the time. And I'm like, oh, this is this. Oh, never mind. I'm on one year old. 1970 Mach 1. And nine, nine. there's the turn signals in the hood scoop. Oh, Remember yeah. You were talking about, about that yesterday? yesterday? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's an option. My mom's kind of like had them up there. Okay. We could see them on each side. Yeah. But that hood scoop and everything else are quite valuable. Oh, okay. I can imagine. Yeah. It's a good looking car. Mm hmm. Got like a, got a little breakdown on the info on it. Wow. Now this guy's got some fender flare. Yeah, he's got a wide body fender flare kit or something, yeah. yeah. With LED hood. Yeah, it's a little bit customized. But wasn't it, from my understanding, pretty popular back in the 70s, kind of flare these old Corvettes out? Yes, a lot of people was, did yeah. it, yeah. And uh, they were used in racing. Okay. Big tires. Okay. Wow. Yeah. 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 If you go into history books a little bit on racing stuff. You see old yeah. like hot riding and racing yeah. magazines. Yeah. I mean, all the Corvettes were flared out. Right. Yeah. So, so it's kind of like you could even say if they're done like that, it's a, a period correct right type thing. You know. Mm -hmm. and I yeah. think you could still enter them if they're period correct to For the certain nostalgia. genre. You yeah. could still enter them into nostalgia uh, races. Yeah. yeah. Races and even car shows like here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then this a. Uh, what type of Dodge is this? Cornette or? Uh, I know people at home that have these are. How do you not know it's this? Dodge 440? Yeah, Polara. Oh, Polara. 25.5. How much does he want? 25.5 uh, okay. looks like. Yeah. Looks like an either an older restoration or original paint. Custom wheels though. Yeah. Overall, it's a solid car. Mm -hmm. Looks like, yeah. Look, see, this is what I think of butterscotch. Okay, yeah. Because I was about to call this a little butterscotch. And this one's actually, I kind of, I guess it's a small block because it doesn't have the wide hood. But There's uh, another 70. It's a sleeper. One of 29 built with the Q code 420. Oh, so it's a 428, but they, I guess they purposely put the small oh. block hood on there to make it Isn't a sleeper. Yeah, so that is interesting. Because I was assuming it was small block because it didn't have the big right. hood. Then you got your Boss 302. Yeah, that's sharp. Same price between the two. I'd probably rather have this, this sleeper car just because it's got the big block. Yeah. But it's, it right, doesn't have the flashy look, but yeah. Must be the same owner. The ads are set up the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a factory sticker here. I mean, they're both really nice cars. Of the three Mustangs we've seen, the blue one and the white one and the yeah, squash this colored one, I like the squash colored one. This has got the martyr report in the window. Yeah, that's nice. 
Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I filmed. And I think, okay, Marty report on this one too? Oh, it does? Yes, it does, right oh, there. Oh, see, on, I didn't film On the it. left? I don't know if I filmed it. Oh, okay. I'll film it real fast. And it looks like a build sheet next to it. Wow. Very good looking Mustangs. Then you got a little newer one. Yeah, we bought one of these one time. We were, bought it to flip and it didn't work out very well. Mm. Apparently these aren't as desirable as my dad thought. Right. <laughs> it's got a... It's well, got they're probably appreciating now. We paid $300 for it and he was only trying to get 500 or 600 for it. I thought we were going to die with that car. Mm. Just, we couldn't get any interest. It was back in the 90s, so you had to put the paper in the ad, or the ad in the newspaper and... We just got no interest in that thing. Mm. But it was uh, it was a little rough. Check it this wasn't out. anything like this. Something happened here. Oh yeah, some crazing or something in the paint. Yeah, yeah. looks like uh, maybe the body work that did underneath didn't didn't quite chemically work with the uh, paint they used. Yeah, there's definitely something there. Yeah, some yeah reaction. Shows you probably some body work under there. Are we about done there? I think that's about where we started, yeah. Yeah, that's right, because there's the Volkswagen. Yep, so this is where we started. Unfortunately, we are out of good daylight once again, so either tomorrow evening or in the morning, I'll try to get the cars down there. There's still probably another 100, 200 cars down there.